treads are coming super quick, super quick. Everything is going to come together at an exponential pace. You guys are gonna see everything. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump right into it so you guys can see all the supplements I'm taking. I'm kinda of gonna go over what they do and why I'm taking them. 35 bucks? <laughs> this piece of paper is worth $35. Go. Come in quick. Those lines coming in quick. Just had my all time low weigh in. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen right there. Kind of see what the body composition was but it was 149.3. So that is the lowest that I've been, honestly, without cutting water, without doing anything crazy, that's the lowest I've been legitimate. You know, when I cut down from my show, I sweated out a lot of water. This time, I haven't even started to cut my water out every day. I haven't started taking any kind of fat burner slash water eliminator pill. Um, so this is really good progress. The lines are going to come dramatically fast. Like I have 20 days or 19 days left and I was worried until I just looked at that. Now I'm not worried at all because now the cardio and the results and the water, everything is going to come together at an exponential pace. You guys are gonna see everything. My stomach fat, jawline. I actually have to start getting a tan, no doubt. Gotta start getting a tan, but uh, that's it, I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, just finished my workout, sweating bullets, hit like 45 minutes of cardio, machine stopped at 20 minutes, it was so quick I felt like I was on the thing for 5 minutes, time flies, you know, when you're having fun, I wasn't even paying attention on the clock, so hit the reset button, did some more, and then I did kind of like a cool down, burned a lot of calories today, feeling good, hit some good numbers, I think my squat was like 260 or 265, uh, huge jump up for me today. You know, form's feeling good, the belt really helps, keeps everything tight. Um, if I had a spotter, I probably would've gone a little bit heavy, a little bit heavier. But uh, I'm gonna go do some cryo. The logo's coming together, doing some final renderings. I think I'm gonna send it to one more artist, just to get like somebody else's eyes and ideas in there. But uh, I've narrowed it down, so really excited about that. Um, I just gotta decide font. Font's a big thing. You know, you really don't realize, like when you look at a font, how many fonts there are and how permanent something is. You know, I mean, you could change your logo, I guess, through time, you know, like Pepsi does it every few years. But I wanna at least keep my logo for, you know, a couple of years. So it's gonna be really interesting to see everything come together. But there's some really cool concepts coming, so I'm really excited to launch that. I think I'm gonna start with t-shirts and a shaker bottle. I'm gonna go to cryo, then I'm gonna go home. You ready? Sleepyhead. Come on. Let's go, come on. A little bit late. A little bit late this morning. Tiny bit. Not a lot of it. Jesus. Oh, we're trying to be quiet this morning. Go on, go by. I have to finish getting ready and I have to get to the gym.
morning nug you little nugget good morning fam so uh gonna get started with the day you see this that mound is gone and the grass is finally coming in in the middle it's so nice it's so nice anyways we got a lot of work to do today i weighed in i'm gonna throw it right there up on the screen that's a good morning weigh in 149.3 whoa whoa need to wake up need some pre-workout um let me go over my morning ritual with you guys today's sunday so i'm gonna be going to the gym on top of my day four lift that i have i'm going to be doing probably like an hour of cardio i did an hour of cardio last night I'll show you guys a little screenshot of me taking a picture of my watch it was good i mean it was like 577 calories burned um i like using the watch more than i like using the machines because it keeps track of your heart rate the whole time and it's just going to be a little more accurate on how many calories you burn it's really nice like i did the uh the treadmill and as i would speed up and slow down it has this thing that says like average speed the only problem is if you rest your hand on the treadmill it will stop calculating the average speed and it'll bring your average speed down so I burned at least 577 calories because there was quite a few times where I was holding, you know, those two little handles when I was walking. I think it makes it easier. Yes, my arms were tired. Um, everything was tired. I was just exhausted yesterday. So, but what's nice about it is I know I burned at least 577 calories. Normally the machine, it overestimates the amount of calories that you burn. So let's go ahead and get started with the morning ritual. I gotta take my pre-workout. I got a good delivery, some goodies. Got another thing free. Got glutamine. Got the fat burner I've been waiting for. I got cleanse. We'll kind of go over everything that I got later. Kind of got it scattered all over the kitchen actually. So I'll throw all that stuff in there. Go over it with you guys later because supplementation is very important. I want to go over everything that I'm taking right now because it is the final stretch. We have 13 days and some odd hours left in this competition. Let's get started. Let's go. That is going to take quite a long time. What up, self? Yeah. Alright guys, that is the intro workout. I drank that the entire time I'm working out. Now we're gonna go ahead and slam the pre. Get to the gym and we're gonna absolutely crush this workout. I like my pre-workout. Stirred. I'm not shaking. I like to keep it with as little water as possible. And what I have been doing is doing like hot water. So I'm gonna let the sink run for a minute. I'm gonna slam this. We're gonna get to the gym. We're gonna do some deadlifts today. We're gonna do a little bit of bench press. I'm gonna do some cardio. Then we're gonna get on with our day. I'll go over all the supplements, what I'm taking, how I'm gonna key in in the next two weeks so you guys can really follow and see how quickly your body changes, especially when you make these changes. Um, but it's kind of like peak week changes. You wanna do these things only when you're approaching the end just to make sure that your body really reacts the way that it needs to to the amount of calories you're doing, the amount of cardio you're doing and everything. I'm gonna try and hit cryotherapy twice a day. Sounds crazy, but it's not. Even if you only burn four or 500 calories and the readings say five to 800, I've seen a thousand, you know, that's me burning a lot of extra calories on top of the additional that I'm doing from cardio every single day. So me wanting to burn that extra little bit of fat, this is really gonna help. But let me go ahead, let me finish this pre-workout. I'm gonna slam it. I don't like to use a lot of water. I like to use a little bit of water. I feel like it hits you quicker. That's why you see people, they just put it in their mouth and they chug some water. It just blows them up. But. Uh, Let's go ahead and do this. Cheers. Alright, right, let's get it. Alright, so we tried cryotherapy before the lift this time. 
after talking with the employee, she was telling me that it's going to approximately take two hours for the anti-inflammatory properties to, uh, to kick in. So that's good. So I'll probably feel it right at the end of my workout, which is really good. What I'm really hoping is that I'm gonna burn more calories. Cause this kind of jump starts everything, right? So that way, when I do that cardio, my metabolism, everything's already fired up. I feel super warm right now, so I'm actually really excited. I've never lifted afterwards. Maybe I won't be sore, maybe I'll have some more endurance. We'll play it by ear. I think I'm gonna wean off carbs for the next probably week or so and then ramp them back up. I have to get to my gallon of water a day. We're gonna be making a lot of changes that I'm gonna talk about later. We're gonna go over all the supplements I'm taking. I'm really excited to just dive in with you guys and kind of explain the minor things that you gotta do before you prep for a competition. The changes are huge. Little things go a long way, especially when you compound them and you're doing them all consistently. Anyways, I'm gonna focus on driving. I'll talk to you guys after the gym. You guys will see what I'm doing today. I'll record everything. Let's get it. Let's get it today, boys and girls. shower you see that no guys know this but uh recently equipped bug assault doesn't just work on flies here you will see a slow-mo video of me blowing that little guy to pieces he's gotta go if he was outside that'd be cool but he's inside so that guy's gotta go Didn't, the slow-mo didn't work. Yeah, no, that didn't work. But we did get them. I just, I should have filmed it closer to when I actually did the shot. Let's do a little physique update. All right. No pump. Didn't do any arms today. Literally just did my deadlifts. I did my Larson bench press and that was it. So literally no pump in the arms, no pump in the shoulders. I feel, I feel great. A lot has to come together in the next 14 days, but I think with cryotherapy, with me regulating my calories, I think me hitting cardio this hard, I think everything's gonna come together really quick. Um, we'll kind of go over the equation that I'm using, kind of explain what the game plan is and how we're gonna math this out because we're gonna straight math this equation to make sure that I'm where I need to be. All right guys, so finish my workout, not gonna take. I do wanna take this, but I take it more so in the morning. Instead, I'm gonna take the control and the cleanse. It's gonna help get rid of some extra water and it's a non-stimulant fat burner. That's what control is and appetite suppressant so that I'm good until, look at that little cowlick. I don't know what that's, what's going on there. Anyways. Those are the two I'm gonna have. I'll go over those products more later when I kinda of talk about all the supplements that I'm taking right now. Um, but I'm gonna slam those back right now and then me and Nick, we're gonna go on an adventure. Take a trip down memory lane and probably re-get addicted to something that we were addicted to a long time ago. And yes, it is healthy. Just not for your bank account. I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds to figure this out. What's a TV show? You probably played it when you were in elementary school if you're my age. Friendships were broken over this game, no doubt. No doubt friendships were broken, yeah. definitely. No trade backs, absolutely. Gave you a little hint there. Nick and I are gonna go buy some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and we're gonna play. We're gonna take a trip down memory lane. I'm really hoping it doesn't poison the addiction. It's gonna spin out of control. I'll spend way too much money because I make money now. It's gonna spin out of control. Well, we're gonna go in and get started, so wish me luck, fellas. All right, so with COVID going on and everything, 
and it was packed in there, we decided, all right, well, first off, there's no table for us to open up anything. I wasn't gonna open up everything at the counter, but uh, let's see what we get when we get home. All right, guys, back at the cribbo. You guys guessed Yu-Gi-Oh, you are 100% correct. But to further the, uh, the collecting addiction, I'm gonna try magic. So the most fun part about this entire thing is opening up the packs and finding out if you got anything worth anything. So Nick and I are gonna open up all these packs and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do next. I don't know if we're gonna try and walk through a magic game or not, but uh, opening the packs is the best part. So I'm gonna get started on that. What? 35 bucks? <laughs> this piece of paper is worth $35. My first card. I think I like magic better than Yu-Gi-Oh, but <laughs> we'll, we're gonna wait. But yeah, this guy, not shiny. I was like, nah, it's not worth nothing. I told you, man. Thirty-five dollars. We're gonna put this bad boy in a sleeve right now and continue. Thirty-five dollars. I get six. Well, I guess I have this and you don't, so I don't know what's in this thing. I wanna wait till the end. guys i'm gonna jump right into it so you guys can see all the supplements i'm taking i'm kind of going to go over what they do and why i'm taking them um we're gonna start over here sst this is their fat burner so why do i take sst really in the morning when i wake up and i'm fasted the first thing i want to do is get some caffeine in my body um sst is great for that it's going to help with energy metabolism focus so all the things you need to start off your morning are already right here um the pills are pretty incredible i'm actually gonna show you guys one uh, close up in the fight. Pretty incredible. So really the best time to take these, I think is personally probably first thing in the morning. If you're gonna go lift, you're gonna have your pre-workout. You're already gonna have the caffeine. You probably don't need the extra dose, but I do do this on every morning that I'm just gonna do cardio or if I'm just gonna go to work. It kind of starts me off instead of a cup of coffee. This is what I'm gonna have. And then I follow up with some matcha tea later. What's really nice about their stack is they actually have SST control as well. And what this does is kind of a non-stimulant and it's something that they actually say you can take with it. And it's gonna be a non-stimulant appetite control. So I'll get hungry in the middle of the day, typically around two or three o'clock because I'm starting to get hungry because I normally eat between five to seven o'clock. Um, what's really nice is I take this and it just helps me kind of curb that appetite just until I can get home and I can have my meal some active ingredients in this, just to kind of give you guys an idea. Garcinia Cambogia, I know you've heard of that. Dr. Oz talks about it. It definitely helps with appetite control. It's not a miracle pill, but this is just something really good to add if you're looking for that extra step and something to just prolong that effect of a fat burner so that you don't want to eat, okay? And if you're having cravings and stuff like that. Then I have SST Cleanse, okay guys? This is something you take in addition to both of these. You can take it by itself. What's really nice about this is it's non-stimulant, it's a detoxifier, it's gonna help your body eliminate extra water that you don't necessarily need. So if you have a lot of sodium in your diet or you're drinking the amount of water you should be drinking every day on a diet, this is gonna help get rid of all the extra so you're not holding on to it. And that way, your weight loss, your weight loss tracking is more consistent and it's not tracking the water that you're holding on to. That's one of the biggest downfalls about the way that I diet is depending on when I weigh myself, if I woke up, if I had some water, if I went to the gym and I drank more water than I normally drink and I weigh myself after. Sophie, Sophie, are you done? Enough. The dog's playing with, with their cell phone over there. Um, SSC Cleanse, okay guys, eliminates water and toxins, supports daily health and performance. I definitely noticed a difference. I've only been taking it for three days now, but I feel great all day. So it's really nice something that you can add to a fat burner that you're already taking. Even if you're not following uh, the performance brand and you're taking something else, if you're looking for just something extra to add to your overall diet and health, 
that's going to help eliminate some toxins because a lot of people don't take anything that does specifically that. That's something that's really nice that you can add to whatever you're already taking. Superhuman recovery. Guys, I did a uh, post about this a few weeks back. You can check out my Instagram at Anthony of Olympus. Superhuman is incredible. I've been taking this. This is my second tub. I've gone through the first tub. What you guys will notice throughout my series is I continue to get stronger and even though I'm in a caloric deficit, it's not really slowing down my gains in the gym. I attribute that probably entirely to the superhuman that I've been taking. It has a lot of active ingredients that are going to help with recovery, um, regeneration, repairing of muscles, um, rehydrating. It's going to cover a lot of things that you need for intro workout or post-workout that isn't protein, right? Everybody wants protein after they work out, but that's not the complete picture. I really want you guys to go on, check out this website, uh, performancedriven.com. Check out the Superhuman. If you guys have never taken something other than a pre-workout and a protein, that's what most people take when they're just in the gym and they're trying to get through a regimen and they're, they're looking to recover quick. They think that those are the two main things that you need, but there's a lot of other things that you could be adding to that to make you that much more efficient, that much stronger. And when I tell you that this is a performance product, it's really going to add to the daily performance in your workouts. Believe me, you gotta try it out. Um, it's called Superhuman. My favorite flavor, I'd say the Cherry Limeade. Yeah, this, this is, I've tried their other one, the Cherry Limeade, I like a little bit more. As you can see, it's already open. Um, it's just a little less sweet. And to the, the bread and butter, the pre-workout, um, I've never had a pre-workout that hits me quite this hard. Uh, molecular hydrogen matrix, um, the way that works is it actually absorbs in your body a lot quicker than traditional pre-workout. Um, this is going to help with preventing lactic acid. It helps with energy and metabolism, focus, all the things that you would traditionally see in a pre-workout. SST Pre has it all. It's incredible. Yes, you will get a great pump while you're on it. You really don't need an additional pump product. You can't take an additional pump product if you want it. I don't think it's necessary. I feel incredible when I'm on this. Um, the only thing I would say is that it could taste a little bit better, but for most of you looking for quality pre-workouts, you realize that the good ones, they normally don't taste that great, especially the ones that are really going to amp up the way that you perform and feel throughout the gym. Normally, it doesn't taste like Kool-Aid. It does have a decent flavor. I just wouldn't rank it a 10 out of 10 in the best pre-workouts that I've ever had in terms of flavor, but I will rank it a 10 out of 10 in terms of performance. So if you're looking for the best of the best, this is definitely gonna be what you wanna try. I have another tub that's not open, but I always have one on reserve because I don't like running out of my pre-workout. Something new that I have not added to my diet um, before, previously, um, is glutamine. Okay, this is a pure glutamine product. I'm really excited about it. I just started taking it. I add it to the protein shakes that I'm having at the end of the day. So every single meal that I have, I always wash it down with a protein shake or a meal replacement shake or both, depending on my calories, so that I'm supplementing everything that I need. Um, I wake up feeling great every single day. I'm not sore. I'm killing it in the gym. I'm lifting heavy. I'm following a, a good regimen um, by uh, amazing powerlifting coach, uh, Cash. He has me lifting appropriate weight every single time I go into the gym. Sometimes it's volume, sometimes it's slow rep, but so far I haven't been tested in terms of I don't have fatigues. My muscles are recovering quick. I don't get sore. Um, I'm hoping that as soon as this whole diet's over and I start eating the right amount of calories every single day that I'm just gonna kind of rip the chains off, so to speak, and I'm just gonna see some accelerated growth but I am growing quick. Um, you know, hopefully one of these days I can sit down with him and we can kind of talk about my progression and he can kind of show you, you know, how fast I've been progressing in terms of deadlifts and squat and bench. Um, you know, you would think that I was close to my peak. You guys have seen me benching for years, but I'm growing quicker than I've ever grown on the bench. I'm exercising differently and that's really helped. Um, not training the same way every single time. But I'm really excited and I will keep you guys posted on if I notice a difference with glutamine, I just add it to my protein shake at the end of every single night and it blends right in. I don't even taste it, but you can read a lot of good things about glutamine, guys. So please check it out, glutamine. Moving on, last but surely not least, creatine. For the longest time, I've been taking Cree Alkaline, the brand that you get from uh, Vitamin Shop. 
Crealkaline is proven to be effective, um, but most of the studies that you'll see if you actually look into the studies are based off of creatine monohydrate. So they have a cre uh, creatine muscle mass right here, 80 servings, five grams creatine monohydrate. This is something that you can add to your pre-workout. Um, the way that it recommends you take it as a dietary supplement, adults take one serving, one scoop, mixed with eight ounces of water or juice daily within 15 minutes of mixing. So this is not something that you wanna mix and let it sit in the container. Um, I, I've, I've read about it, your body, and that's why they say creoclum works a little bit better is because it's pH buffered and your body absorbs it at the right time. Really, creatine is gonna be fine as long as you're drinking it right after you're mixing it in the water. The second that you mix it, everything starts to activate. You need to put it in your system so your body can absorb it. Um, I've only taken this twice. I haven't noticed any crazy results. I do feel very strong in the gym. My deadlifts have gone up. My bench has gone up. Everything's still going up. So this is something that I'm gonna check in with you guys over the next 30 days. But it says amplified strength, increased muscle mass. So that's probably why I'm retaining the muscle that I have right now while I'm working out and reduce fatigue. I've definitely noticed there are two types of workouts. There are the workouts where you actually feel muscle fatigue and you feel like you're dying faster or you can't get as many reps up of stuff that you normally can get up. That's fatigue, right? Um, I don't experience that. I'm getting the reps that I'm supposed to be getting on my workout plan every single time. I've yet to not get the reps. I do think that supplements are very important, especially when you're dieting because you're not getting the normal nutrients you would get from food. I'm a big foodie. I like to eat as much regular food as possible. But what I've grown to realize is that the most important thing is that you are bridging the gaps when you don't have that food in there. It's better to fill it with a supplement than to not have it at all. Um, right now with my caloric deficit being where it is and me consuming anywhere from uh, 900 calories to 1300 calories a day because I'm trying to accelerate the fat loss. Um, it's very important that I do what I can to keep my body optimized and operating at an optimal level. Uh, one of the last products that I want to talk about is going to be the protein, right? Because that's everybody's bread and butter. After you work out, you have to have a protein shake. Um, flavor is very important to me with protein. I think that um, you definitely can find different qualities of protein. Uh, when you search out there um, and you can find a variety of flavors, but what it comes down to is which ones actually taste good. Um, what's nice about Performance's protein is their IOA is actually special coded so that your body can consume and absorb more of the protein. They say that 22 grams is equivalent to, I believe it's 28 grams of another protein. So you guys are getting more bang for your buck, 30 grams. 22 grams of the IOA is equivalent to 30 grams of your standard protein. Isolate, not concentrate guys, isolate, which as you know, has a higher absorption level than concentrate, okay? So it is very quality. Uh, I will say this is one of the best, if not the best tasting protein that I've ever had. Um, it tastes exactly like Fruity Pebbles. So I used to mix it with water. I've upgraded it to unsweetened almond milk and it is mind blowing. It's absolutely mind blowing. I look forward to it every single day. Every time I finish my meal, the last thing I'm thinking is, all right, now I get to have my protein shake. It kills cravings, I feel great. This whole fasting thing has really changed the way that I look at dieting. It's exciting, it's exciting to try something new. I feel like it's working and I can't wait till this diet is over and I get to go back and I get to see the steady progression that I've had. And then I wanna take it to the next level and try, try fasting but eating uh, you know, yeah, over six hours, right? And I'll fast the remaining hours. I feel like when I'm done working out, my body is primed, ready to just absorb anything that I put in it because it wants it, it hasn't had anything, and it's been fighting to just reach equilibrium, right? I think that's what your body is always trying to do is reach equilibrium. So when you superset it with some high quality supplements and you're eating high quality food, it's a recipe for success. After the meal, 
treads are coming super quick super quick all right guys that's it for me i hope you guys learned a lot about the supplements i'm taking and what i'm changing up we'll talk more about the diet i didn't do any carbs tonight it was just all vegetables and i'm probably going to start eating twice as many vegetables my fats are going to be right where they need to be maybe even a little higher than they were before between 40 and 50 grams i might go up a little bit since i'm eliminating carbs my proteins are going to go up um, and this is really going to help me just cleanse the rest of this fat just make it go away i'm going to continue to hit cardio i think i'm going to start cryotherapy twice a day even if it only burns 500 calories that's a thousand a day extra that i'm burning i feel incredible i don't feel like i'm not eating a lot of calories i eat until i'm full um, i just had the best weight in i've had since i started this diet it was 149.3 after i ate so i ate all that food i ate three bison patties on top of that, I had a protein shake mixed with uh, 16 ounces of unsweetened almond milk. On top of that, I had an entire bag, a family size bag of broccoli. I feel incredible right now. All I did was put a little bit of olive oil, it was two tablespoons, so I got 28 grams of fat from that. Some salt, some um, garlic, and some onion powder. And then I had my glutamine and my protein shake, and I went to bed. So. Going to bed now, that's it. I'm gonna throw my weight up on the screen right there. I'll throw my calories up on the screen so you guys can check it out. If you guys liked or were interested in any of those performance supplements, please, performancedriven.com, do code MASHA for 25% off and free shipping. I promise you will not regret it. And if you do try it, please let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll see you guys soon for the next one.